Hey everybody, it's Eric with Low VA Rates. Today, I'm going to go over three reasons why we do not display interest rates on our website. Now, a lot of lenders out there like to display interest rates right there on their homepage or somewhere on their website. We don't. And I want to share with you three very valid and good reasons why that is and why you should be skeptical of any interest rates that you see published by other lenders anywhere really, but specifically on their website. Okay, we're gonna go right over that. So today is Friday, not just any normal Friday. It is Red Friday here at Low VA Rates. If you've not watched before, listen up. If you have, listen again. We wear red every single Friday as an outward expression of some very internal feelings that we have, which is pride, gratitude, love of our military. Red stands for Remember Everyone Deployed. And I haven't said this in a while, but if you want a really cool shirt like this or a hat or anything else that we have that's red, maybe a hoodie since it's getting a little colder out there right now, we have a YouTube video that you can find by subscribing to our YouTube page. Let's, let's talk about that right now. Hit that subscribe button and follow along. But on our YouTube channel, you can find a video, just search Red Swag, and you can follow some instructions on how we can mail you some of this stuff your own. Doesn't cost you anything other than being a fan, a subscriber, a follower. Let's get into it. Today, I wanna to talk about these three reasons why we don't put um, interest rates on our website. Very first one, too many variables, okay? Couldn't find my marker here for a second. Variables, okay? There are too many variables. If you don't know exactly what that means, you know, too many things that can be changing over time um, that are gonna impact your interest rate. So when it comes to determining the interest rate that you're gonna get on your VA loan or any loan for that matter, every single lender has to look at a variety of factors or things that are different from person to person. For starters, let's talk about your income. Your income impacts your interest rate, your credit score, your debt to income ratio, your loan amount. Believe it or not, people are like, what do you mean? Why does the loan amount matter? Well, the more you're gonna borrow, in a lot of cases, the better your interest rate. Think about that. That impacts your interest rate, along with all the other things I just talked about. The term. Before we started filming this video today, we were talking with some of our employees here at Low VA Rates that you know bought their home on a 30-year uh, loan and then they switched to a 15-year loan because the interest rate was lower. Well, go figure. Are you looking at a 15-year interest rate or a 30-year interest rate when you see an interest rate pop up on a website? The type of VA loan that you want, such as an interest rate reduction refinance loan or a streamline versus a cash out or a purchase might also impact your interest rate. Do you want a fixed rate or do you want an adjustable rate mortgage? Believe it or not, even the state where your property is located could impact your interest rate. Why is that? Well, foreclosure rates in your state, right? Or hurricane uh, risk or damage. Lenders might want to give better interest rates in some states than others. So, accurate, so accurately publishing interest rates that reflect all of these factors that I just went over and all the multiple situations and changes present it's impossible to do it fairly, in our opinion. In fact, lenders who do publish rates, they always make assumptions in each of these categories that I just went over. And it's in that little tiny fine print that you're gonna have to read, you know, at the bottom of the page or through swirling around that you're normally gonna discover that the rate that's published on the website applies to, let's say, a borrower who's making $90,000 a year, has a 750, you know, that's better than what I have, perfect credit score, whose DTI is super low and wants to purchase a home in Nevada for $350,000 and plans on getting a 15-year loan, right? That, that's the absolute best rate they can publish. So they put that up there and they tease you with it. And then you don't realize that's actually not the rate you're going to qualify for, unless, of course, you met all of those criteria. So if you don't fit that criteria, then you're just SOL and these published rates aren't going to apply to you. So if published rates can only apply to such a slim group of people, we don't really see the point in publishing them. Let's go to the second reason. We don't want to purposely mislead our clients. We don't want to accidentally mislead you, but we certainly don't want to mislead. So this kind of goes hand in hand with what I just said. I don't know that every single lender that publishes interest rates on their websites out to mislead you, but naturally, it just kind of happens. We hear about it all of the time. The fact of the matter is that when people see a rate published on a site, they automatically assume human nature, oh, that's the rate I'm gonna get, or I wouldn't be looking at it right now. Um, 
or at least that they might be able to get it. But if you've got a 620 FICO score, no offense, you're not getting the score that was published at a 750, or I'm sorry, the rate that was published at a 750 score anytime in the near future. It takes quite a bit to jump 100 points or, or more. But here's the, here's the fact of the matter. Because published rates are based on all of these factors, it's normally impossible for most people to qualify for that rate, as I already talked about. And even though we could add in the tiny print, all the little texts and the you know variables here and there, we know you're not going to read it. Very few people read it. And we just don't want any chance that you're going to feel lied to or misled in the future. We'd hate to see you see a rate on our website and then feel cheated or like you somehow were, were hit with a bait and switch when it turns out that we had to push you into a higher interest rate. And some people, even if it's a slightly higher rate, you thought you were going to get a two and a quarter, we had to give you a 2.375. We've seen that upset people. Well, why did you have a 2.375 on your website? We just don't want to have to have that debate. So let's go to the third and final reason. We have what I think hands down is one of the most unique and awesome offers out there. And that's our low APR guarantee. Okay. Really want to draw your attention to this low APR guarantee. Lots of videos on our website. Lots of videos on YouTube. So even though we don't publish rates, we do understand that a lot of our competitors do. And they use this as a marketing tactic. So let them do it. Here's what I want you to know. When you see a really low rate on a site or a mail piece, it is human nature to want it. I understand that. And I understand that not publishing our rates might put us at a short disadvantage or at a small disadvantage. To combat that, I want all your attention right here. Go find what you think is the best rate you can get. Go find it and then come back to us and say, I want to challenge your low APR guarantee. Here's what it says, basically. I'm going to give you, put it in big numbers because it's a lot of money for a lot of people. We're going to pay you $250 if we can't beat the deal that you bring to us. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to ask you to bring the competitors our way and we're going to do everything we can to beat it. It's our way of saying, even though we don't publish our rates, the proof is here that you're still going to get a lower rate with us than you are from the competitors. And in those slight cases where we can't, and it's happened, we send you 250 bucks. We do this because we want you to get the lowest possible rate by encouraging you to put other lenders' claims to the test. If they deliver and on the rate that they've published, or even if they didn't publish the rate and we can't get you a lower rate. And I'm not talking about matching it. Again, and in a pause, I'm not talking about the note rate or the interest rate. I'm talking about the annual percentage rate, the APR. Most of the time that I have borrowers who have us competing with one of our competitors, we're both, for example, this is just an example. This isn't a quote. We're both offering, let's say, a two and a quarter rate at lender A. And then low VA rates is also offering a two and a quarter rate. However, their APR might be 3.125 APR. Our APR is going to be, let's just say 3.0. And I'm sideways, but you guys get my point. This is a lower APR. This means if you're looking for the best possible deal in most situations, if both rates are the same, the person with the lower APR is charging you less than closing costs. That's how we're going to win. And we try to make that, that the difference as significant as possible. What it does is it shows that we're literally willing to put our money where our mouth is since we do call ourselves low VA rates. Notice it doesn't say lowest. We do get beat from time to time and we're okay with that. It keeps things fair, it keeps things balanced and it keeps you coming back. So with those three reasons in mind, we hope you now have a better understanding on why you don't come to our website and then see a bunch of interest rates. And why you might want to question the mortgage companies that are out there publishing rates that you do see online. You should look at those rates with a healthy dose of skepticism and don't be afraid to put them and us to the test with our low APR guarantee. Now, if you're interested in hearing a customized quote for your specific situation, hey, low VA rates, you guys are so good. I've, I've done loans with you in the past or you've convinced me on your video. I don't even wanna waste my time with anybody else, but I need to see your interest rates. Pick up the phone, call one of our licensed loan officers, or just inquire on our website. We have done loans from start to finish without ever speaking to anybody. That's what happens in the year, you know, 2022 and beyond. We can get you a quote. 
we can get all of these variables that kept us from wanting to quote the rate online and we can give you an accurate, honest quote and then you can go from there. So, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you understand more about why you don't see rates on our site and I hope you keep coming back every single week always wearing red and being ready to learn a new topic. Thanks for watching.